Hey guys, welcome back to NY Sports MC. Got the little MC with me today. Uh, wanted to come out with this video. I didn't come out with it right away because I didn't think it was going to be as big as it is, but a lot of comments have been coming on my channel about it, so I figured I'd come out with a video about the Saints releasing offensive guard Larry Warford, as this guy's a little laughy right now. Um, so Larry Warford, I know three-time Pro Bowler, uh, we have issues on the offensive line. I've looked to improve that along the offseason. I want to give my comments because, like I said, I, I've been repeating it to a bunch of different people. As much as I think Warford would be an upgrade to this team, and I don't want this video to be about me thinking that he is not good or saying that he's not good and that he wouldn't be an upgrade because he absolutely would be. I'm just looking at what Joe Douglas has done, what Adam Gase has done, the types of players that they've been looking for. They've been looking for athletic offensive linemen who can move around well in space. Gase wants to spread it out. He wants to run some screens. He wants to be able to get those offensive linemen to pull out in space. And you got to look at the Saints, right? The Saints are, are a Super Bowl contender. They have Drew Brees, and he's not getting any younger. Um, he's got maybe one year, maybe maybe two years left. So they're looking to win that Super Bowl right now. So why would they cut somebody that's so good? Well, the reason is they wanted to get faster on the offensive line. They drafted Cesar Ruiz. They drafted um, McCoy last year. And they're now projected to have the second fastest offensive line in the league. So athleticism on the offensive line is something that these teams are striving to have now with these spread offenses. So if you look at Gase, he brought, he bring, I mean not Gase, McCagney, he brings in Fant who is, has never started in the league, at least not for a full season. And he's known for having athleticism. He's known for being uh, agile. He played tight end a lot for the Seahawks, blocking tight end, of course. Uh, he brings in Becton, who at 6'7", 360 pounds, runs a 5'1", 40. He wants to get more athletic on, on the offensive line. So I just don't see this as somebody that they would go and target. Um, because I just don't see this as their long-term vision. While he would be an immediate upgrade to either guard spot. Gabe, uh, Douglas wants to build this in his vision. He wants to build the team the way he wants to with these athletic offensive linemen. So I just don't see him being a fit. Not that I don't think he'd be upgrade because he absolutely would be. I just don't see Douglas going out to spend the money. Hopefully we can solidify the deal with Logan Ryan. If you guys didn't hear, Logan Ryan was on some sports channel. I forget exactly what it was. But he said while the Jets would be absolutely ideal, because of the New Jersey connection, he went to Rutgers. Uh, he said he's still open for business. So that deal is obviously not done yet. I think the Jets are trying to wait till June 1st when Tremaine Johnson's money comes off the books. But we'll have to see. Hopefully nobody comes in and swoops in and steals him from us before then. But I hope we lock in Logan Ryan. And then we can probably still have enough money to either get one of these edge rushers that's still available like an Everson Griffin or like a Vinnie Curry. Or we can sit pat and kind of wait to see if one of these receivers gets cut during training camp, during the preseason, and and see where we go from there. Keep us some extra flexibility moving forward. But wanted to get this video out so you guys know my opinion. Like I said, I would love to add Warford. I think he can help this team. I just don't see him fitting into the vision of the organization moving forward. So I don't think we'll be ones that bid very highly on him. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I know a lot of Jeff fans want him, but do you agree that he may not be the best scheme fit for us? And that might be why we don't pursue him. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Tune in on Sundays at 9 p.m. for the live streams. And Michael, what, what, what are you gonna say, buddy? Say it louder. He's whispering, go Jets and jet up, baby.